I wanted to talk about a lost art in photography ever since the digital age took over, and that's using filters. I personally love stacking two, three, up to four different filters in front of my lens to get a desired look in camera. I love the options that Tiffin offers. They're a great value and give you an insane amount of different options you could use. Out of all the filters out there, I would say my absolute favorite ones are diffusion filters. Diffusion filters in themselves, there's a lot of different options. There's pearlescent, promis, black promis, and glimmer glass. I personally love promis the most, followed by glimmer glass. Um, I have glimmer glass in different strengths. I have it in eighth, quarter, and five. And that's all dependent on how you want your image to look and feel. If you want the effect to be pretty subtle or if you want it to be more stylized. Uh, Pro Mist is a step up from Glimmer Glass in my opinion. It's a lot less subtle. The reason why I like using diffusion filters is because they help diffuse the highlights. And also if you have any specular lights or any rim lights that are overexposed, it makes them glimmer. If that's an effect you're looking for, that's what they do. Another thing that they do is that they help soften off the skin when it comes to photography. I love using hard light. And hard light could be very harsh on the skin because it will bring out all the imperfections. But using a diffusion filter in front of your lens will help take away some of that edge. Modern digital lenses are amazing, but they can have a real clinical look to them. And when you add a diffusion filter to them, it can make them feel more organic and more real. And you could almost say it gives them more of a filmic look. I pretty much permanently have some sort of diffusion filter or some type of diffusion in front of my lenses. If it's not glimmer glass, it's pro mist. If it's not pro mist, I'll ruin at the lens. Uh, ruin it in the lens is something I love doing. It gives you a similar effect to a diffusion filter. Um, however, the, the, there are subtle differences and one key difference between rear netting the lens versus using a diffusion filter is that when you've netted a lens, you have to be shooting fairly wide open, either at a f2.8 or wider uh, because if you start to stop down when you net a lens you start to actually see it in your frame as opposed to a diffusion filter you could be at f11 f16 which is where i like shooting personally when i'm using strobes and you won't see anything on there but you still get the softened effect which is absolutely amazing another one of my favorite filters to use is a polarizer i love using them because they help give you dark blue skies and dramatic clouds I'll plan my shoot around using the polarizer if that's what I'm looking for. And the way I plan around using the polarizer for my shoots outside is when I'm scouting or checking out the location, I make sure that the time of day that we're shooting that I could frame my shot and have the composition be 90 degrees to the sun because that's where you're gonna get the most polarizing light and you could maximize that effect. So you could get deep dark blue skies and dramatic clouds. Other filters I love using are correction filters. However, I don't use them to actually correct the white balance on my camera. I use them more to stylize them. Uh, I love using the 85B and stacking it with an 81EF. What that does is it makes your image extra warm. But to counter that, what I do is I drop the Kelvin temperature in the camera. So it cancels each other out. However, you still have those warm orange filters in front of your lens. And what they do is they block out blue light. I did some tests and what that does is helps you in the raw file push and pull uh, the blues and without getting any banding. Combining that with a polarizer filter could give you very dramatic skies all done in camera. Other types of filters that I love using are star filters. Uh, I've used the regular star filters and also the north star filters. Uh, those are great to use if they work with the narrative you're trying to say. Uh, of course the light's going to draw attention to itself. If you're pointing any light directly at the lens, it's going to flare up and give you the starburst. But if that's what you're looking for and it fits, again, your narrative and the story you're trying to tell, they're absolutely amazing to use. A fitness shoot that I did with Vanessa Joy is a great example on how I stack four different filters in front of my lens to get the desired look in camera. Uh, for this shot, I stacked a number of different gradient and color filters along with a polarizer and a pro mist to get this look in camera. I wanted to change a clear sunny afternoon and make it look more like the evening. And for this shot, another thing that I did too is I overcorrected the strobes so they would not be the same color as the filters in front of the lens. And simply by removing the color filters and leaving the polarizer and the diffusion on it, you get this other completely different look and you get the nice dramatic blue skies. Now, some people might say, why well, do all this? and stack all these filters and get them all in camera if you could do it in post. For me personally, I'd rather be shooting more and not worry about doing post-production and creating the entire look in the post if I could do it in camera. 
I'd rather spend time away from Photoshop or having to wait for a retoucher to complete the look of the image. If I could get it in camera and get it done quicker and sooner, I could be out there and shooting more. And that's what I'd rather be doing than post-production on the image. Filters are an amazing tool to have in your camera tool bag. It's something that I strongly recommend that you check out. In the description, I'll link some of my favorite filters. You should definitely check them out, test them out, and see which ones you like and which ones work for you.